It's an image orchestrated by Russia for Russian state-run TV viewers. A ribbon symbolizing Russia's military paraded through the streets of Mariupol by pro-Putinists who've come to the occupied city. But on the day when Putin had expected to announce victory in Mariupol, he cannot. Denied by Ukrainian fighters, around 2,000 of them, waging a last stand against overwhelming odds beneath the twisted ruins of the Soviet-era Azovstal steelworks plant. As if to taunt Putin even more, amidst the horror of the battle, the fighters held an astonishing news conference via Zoom. The connection made possible by Starlink, Elon Musk's satellite internet service. Surrender for us is unacceptable. Deep in their bunkers, it's dark, desolate, and extremely dangerous. Surrender is not an option because uh, Russia is not interested in our lives. We are basically here a dead man, yeah? But, uh, mo lo most of us know this, yes? Why we fight so furiously. They vow to fight to the death because surrendering would be suicide. We, all of the military personnel in the garrison of the Mariupol, we eyewitnessed the war crimes performed by Russia, by Russian army. We are witnesses for this. They are not interested to let us live. They described conditions as dire, but say they have food, water, and ammunition. We will continue to fight as long as we are alive to repel the Russian occupiers, says the Azov Regiment deputy commander. We don't have much time. We are coming under intense shelling. They pleaded for the more than 500 wounded to be evacuated. We still have many wounded soldiers who need the help we so desperately ask for, he says. The fighters are resigned and bitter about what they say is the failure of the government in Kyiv to find some way to get them out alive. Somebody should, like, just better do their jobs. Somebody just, well, you know, you know what I mean, yes? Somebody just uh, need to listen to us instead of the Russians. We feel abandoned. Hopes for a ceasefire died with the evacuation of civilians from the steel plant, completed over the weekend. The deputy commander saying his men sacrificed to make that happen. Three of his troops died helping with the escape. One Mariupol city councilman is warning on social media that the Russians could resort to chemical weapons to end the standoff. He says Russian troops want to smoke out our guys, our heroes. All of their efforts have been in vain so far, so they're planning to take such genocidal measures as powerful chemical weapons. The Ukrainian government has issued warnings before about fears that a desperate Putin could resort to chemical weapons, especially in Mariupol and the standoff with the Ukrainian fighters that call themselves the dead men.